What's up folks, it's Matt from Three Pound Fishing and we're back on the water. It's this winter crappie, it's, we're excited. I got my buddy Marcus here in the house. Uh, we're gonna have a little competition today. You wanna tell the fine folks at home what we're gonna be doing, Marcus? I'm gonna be catching more fish, <laughs> bigger fish. <laughs> well, three Good fish. luck, Marcus. Anyway, here's the deal. First one to 30 fish, that's the limit. He's gonna use jigs, I'm gonna use minnows. We'll start off there. He's jigs, I'm minnows. So we don't know which one's gonna be better, but. I think Jigs is gonna have a good shot at it today. And uh, we're going big fish and first one to 30. You do with that? What's the stakes? I don't know what the stakes are. We'll, we'll figure out what those are when we're out there. When I'm catching a couple fish, I'll, I'll let you know. Hey, if you like this type of stuff, do me a favor, subscribe. Hey, we're also gonna be showing you some side imaging, what we're looking for for these crappie. And yeah, we're gonna hoist some big crappie in with some Ozark rods. Let's get to it. It's a competition type of day, folks. We're in the we're during the rut right now. There's no reason why we're out here other than the fish really bit well yesterday. And so we are excited about being back out here. I'm gonna be using my Pro Series 10 footer. It's the go-to. I like it because I can pitch whatever I'm fishing with and I can cast with it. I can do both. Those fish are close to the boat. I can just pitch it. We're gonna be fishing roughly around seven, eight feet down. Marcus is on jig duty. I am on minnow duty. At the end of the day, it's about catching fish. My other buddy Reno's here in the house. He probably didn't see as many fish, so he's not happy. Here he comes. Right there. Sweet spot right there. One for the jigs. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, just like I told you folks, I do not think there's gonna be a difference between jigs and minnows. And Marcus gets off to a great start on this day where we put some good fish in the boat. Marcus, all right. What are you using this day? I'll just show him. Hook job there. Nice fish. And Wally Marshall himself, yellow and white, does it right. My favorite. Beautiful fish.
you know, because of the calm winds, it's actually a wind that's the opposite of kind of what it was yesterday. Those fish have been really difficult to catch doing it the old winter style of throwing a float. So we're gonna go back to vertical jigging on some piles and uh, maybe just stay off them a little bit to give them the space they need. And Mark's running the trolling motor right now. Mark's running the trolling motor right now. About threw me out of the boat. So on this day, we actually thought we were gonna be doing something different. I mean, completely different. We thought we'd be throwing a float and uh, just doing your standard winter fishing on our lake. But in fact, we actually had to adjust. And I think that's very important to remember. Adjusting is important um, if you're not catching fish one way. So we actually went back to vertical jigging, uh, the piles that we typically fish, and we found a lot of success by doing that. So that definitely, without a doubt, helped out on this day. Hey folks, if you want to get into the boat for winter fishing, let me tell you right now, the guide service is wide open in the winter time, 618-694-5162, or you can email me at 3poundfishing at gmail.com. The fishing and the winter bite on Egypt is incredible. Book now. Four to three, folks. Four to three. Just put one in the boat. I, for whatever reason, can't get the active captain running. So I'm going to bring you up here and show you what we're seeing. That's just a big school and those are big fish. So here we go. Ooh, that's a good fish there. Four, four to four. All right. It shrunk as it got into the boat, but I do believe that's a that's a keeper, and that would make it six to four, something like that. Five to four. Whatever. Five to four. Good fish. Yes, sir. Well, a lot stingier than we thought today, but still a great time. That's a nice little eater, maybe a 10 and a half, 11. I don't know if it'll stretch to 11, 10 and a half. But a uh, great day. At the end of the day, I think uh, I'll call a draw. It was, uh, doesn't really matter. Had a great time. Minnows, jigs in the winter time, it just, they're about the same. We're gonna release these fish, show you some of the big dogs. We got some good ones, no doubt about it. We didn't keep many, we kept throwing them back. Fish. That's a good fish. Right there. I'm gonna let those guys go. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. This is Marcus's favorite uh, spot on the lake, so we're just feeding it for him. All right, we're just gonna let these guys go again. Here we go. Let me give you a close up of it. Thanks for watching another 3-Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.